Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jude and today I'm going to be speaking with you about feng shui and how to make your living room space the heart of your home. We're going to discuss five tips that would make your living room the heart of your home to bring your family and guests closer and to really allow the flow of energy uh, to be positive. Tip number one, your living room space should be rectangular or square. If you have an odd shaped living room, all odd corners should be covered or disguised with plants, um, planters, and some fun flower. Tip number two, there should not be any exposed beams in your ceilings. If you have beams and those are necessary for architectural support of your living room space, then you should avoid having seat seats or seating underneath those beams. So allocate your furniture accordingly. Tip number three, ceilings again. Your ceilings should be minimal and plain and clean. They should not have any excessive moldings or any crazy designs on them. They should be flat and clean. That way people can feel comfortable sitting under them and it, it, that so also the space feels open and not enclosed. Tip number four, your floors should be level and flat. Ideally, there should be some carpeting on the flooring or, or if you have uh, full carpeted floors, then that's great uh, for the chi energy to flow through the space. But if you have hardwood flooring, I recommend placing a big rug underneath your couch and your coffee table. And at the same time, if you end up having multi-level living rooms or if you have sunken uh, living rooms, then make sure you elevate those with lighting and lots of potted plants above. Tip number five. Obviously, who does not love natural lighting? Your living room space should have sufficient natural light and a consistent flow of air. Not too excessive, so your ventilation has to be balanced. You maybe have a window that you keep open every once in a while. It shouldn't feel suffocating and it shouldn't feel too hot or too cold. You should have a constant flow of air and lots of natural light. Feng Shui is a whole science. There's obviously way more tips than those, uh, but if you enjoyed these simple five tips, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'll be providing more tips here and there, and we'll be providing a lot of new interior design projects coming up soon. So stay posted, and I hope to 